out, you go Cannon. If you want to go for the Fiora, you're playing the side lane. So the crowd gets the more hype choice, but it does mean one less person who's le likely to catch up to the Jinx. So this is one I actually would have preferred SKT to think about. You can play out this draft and win, right? Because the laning matchup is so good. To his strengths. And now they throw Rise top lane and suddenly Ooh. the Fiora is in a different spot than it would have preferred. So it's going to be Dub on Aatrox mid. Summit and Dub have pretty overlapping chance yeah. in the top lane. Well, we'll see what happens here. Game number two, Sandbox versus SKT. SKT Honestly, I feel like there's a lot of catch on both sides. This pit's uh, already out. Yeah, Dove is already dead yep. as well. That's first blood going down very quickly in the mid lane. Beautiful okay. Rek'Sai play. They're against a team that can brawl and Griffin only this week. Waking up in the early game and Dove walked up and Baker said thank you very much. Oh, Turns out LA like champions like, uh, get punished by a w w w yep. I also think that investing the flash over from Faker is yeah, much term. better. On fix on a walk. Remember, a lot of CC here. Yep, Summit already doing way too much damage here. Dakar gets the fleet footwork, but he's down to 100 health. The flash is going to come oh. in. The lunge is going to be there. Repost is available. Doesn't have to use it. Fox already too came hot. down and think about this. You slow it down and you're like, how do you get out of this? He does it perfectly here. Really nicely done by Khan. And just finds solace in the minion wave. Look at the sandbox <laughs> goes. He's devastated. Yep, absolutely. You can understand exactly why. And the genuine glee. time. There's the repose. Summit is going to get slowed down by the chilling smite. And it's just too much damage. The Rek'Sai is doing so much work this early game. Doesn't matter which domination instead of Cled was big. Let's talk about bot lane as on fleek, he's gonna try and work out his angles. Yep, Marta's gonna have to use the cleanse, uses the Grey Health there as well. It's the kick for the mini stun into oh. the wall. Super Mega Death Rocket comes down, but it's only a one for one trade. It's even more turret plates, but this is exactly what you were talking about. Grand Challenge is gonna be issued. be two, and they don't out trade in the midway. Yep. On Fleek, comes on in, gets himself the high value kickback onto Teddy. Locks him down in place for a long time, but he gets out and the trade oh, of kills is actually really bad I thought I love those coins that Sandbox Gaming aren't rolling over in the early game. Yep. As this game goes on, so many things here from Sandbox as Clit and Marta are just a two-man wrecking crew. Frozen Tomb comes down, World End is going to be there, but Dove immediately goes down into it. Safeguard has to be used to get on fleek out as SKT have set themselves up for this Infernal Drake. About as beautiful. fights are the way you need to go because he already has IE. He can already get excited. Speaking of getting excited. Yeah, exactly. Ghost Meanwhile, is going to be as Faker just kills. Okay. Uh, see you later, Dove. I mean, Sorry about that, guys. Uh, the big zoom out was there. I was looking much needed global gold. But our Clid's going to take some much needed lives that our Dove has because a flash in like that, you layer the CC and it's all too easy here for Faker. That was just Weathered Storm should lead to some all in potential later in the laning phase. All right. Lane. Yeah. CC bar. They're going to wait. going to be utilized there as Dove doesn't get the infernal chains. They wait this one out and this is a see your death moment if ever I've seen one. Boy Rush. Oh. Okay. They don't wait long enough. Slight misplay there from SKT is now Marta. Has to eat the gray health but the flame trump as you can see are going to stop him from being able to get there. On fleek. That's a bit of a mistake as Teddy able to avoid that one. He's waiting for another E. The arcane ship would be the end of on fleek but safeguard gets him over to Joker. He's still going for it but gets himself over the wall and this took a little bit of a while, but Faker is able to lock that down. The Ignite isn't oh! going to be enough, and Faker survives. So much action across the maps. LPL style that falls down. On Fleet going to be able to take another Shelly Rivers, but Marta has decided that himself and Clear don't want to let this one go down for free. Death Sentence is going to land. Teleport from SKT. They're going aggressive as Marta gets himself the Devour. Shelly is still fighting in this one, but there's the ultimate from Faker. This is what we were talking about. The Jinx just can't click anything because she's dead before she can make a decision. Khan makes his way in. They even get Shelly Rivers. SKT, 2,000 gold going to be their lead as we check out this replay from a long time ago. Yep. Marta going down was an inevitability, but uh, just a bit of a mistake there from Onfleek. That wasn't even a flash from Teddy. Just straight up got out there. Onfleek wasn't clean enough yep. on the kickback. Bot lane. I feel like this play happened four times in a row. Yep. But, uh, we're going to watch the, the charm. Let's focus on the picture in picture as the Drake has been started by SKT. And Sandbox are their second, and their four should miss out. Yeah, not going to happen. This is fake and calculated, is what you say in the chat afterwards. I think that was a single digit health bar there for the Lissandra as we check out this fight as well. 
Look Jelly. at how many TPs there are, right? Yeah. First comes Lissandra, then comes Viora. Nothing a little Jinx can do. Eventually going to be swatted down like a fly by the Fiora. Can't kill Summit on the back, but the comms tell you the Naisu is there. It's cold. I like looking at Teddy's item build since he varies them a lot. Cleanse used from Marta there as Joker does land another hook as Faker. Not going to go in on the claw. Dub, good knock up there as Clid burrows his way out of trouble, but he's down to about half health. Joker as well. He's in trouble. Uses the cleanse, but lands the hook. Teddy threads the needle on the Mystic shot. The Frozen Thrall is chasing, and SKT are following afterwards. This squad is feeling great in this mid game as Khan's even launching himself off. Right, he can still poke around and be annoying with that. So, very interesting to see if you get the soul of the 45% CDR. Is that well? You know, oh man, he's just not having a great time. The World Ender does come in on fleek, does land an ability, but it just straight up doesn't matter because Abyssal Voyage follows him through. Even the Lickitung going to come out from Mata. So a lot of different Tom Kench players is our uh, Realm Warp is yes, going to come teleports. in from Summit, but SKT have them surrounded. Clid borrows his way out. SKT controlling the battlefield. They didn't like it. They're not going to go for it as Teddy actually. Arcane shifts his way into a zap. That's bad news. It's actually a bit of a problem because Teddy was going for a reset. Going to immediately teleport back in. The Baron at about half health as Khan is going to get hit up. And Sandbox not going to risk it. Double hit. On the True Shot Barrage and SKT, they actually want to go for this fight. Teddy very aggressive there as the hook lands onto the blue buff. And now it's SKT that are going to steal that one away. And maybe even claim this Baron as well. Baron or before taking down that ward means they do want to turn. They do want to start a fight here as Joker. Going to get missed by a few of those autos. As Clid's in trouble, has to fight oh. the Ignite. is ticking down, he goes in to the stasis and holds himself alive for a moment, Dead. but only for a moment as Summit. He's gonna finish that one off. Now the Realm Warp oh. is a huge deal. Faker jumps on forward, but they immediately get rid of the Thrash. He goes into his ultimate summit, unable to finish off the Lissandra, but the Tom Kench is gonna be dead. Can Teddy actually control this battlefield enough as Khan does get the grand challenge and they should be able to get rid of Summit here. The Lee Sin gonna go down as Teddy's on the chase. Ghost just can't get enough damage in these fights. And Dove can do nothing. He picks up a kill, but that's all he gets. And he's going in. Oh my god. Okay, the W is going to land there. Infernal Chains pulls Teddy back in. Good knock up. Can Dove actually do it? The answer is no, as Teddy finishes him off. He's got his friend to help him out when he's so aggressive there. New Khan could, could join. And now, speaking of joining, they lease the Baron and they give it a start. Yep, Khan does have the Ravenous Hydra. It's going to take a lot for this Baron to actually take down the Fiora's Teddy. Also has a little bit of life steal in this build with the Vamp Scepter. Uh -oh. Ghost is going to come on over as Baker's looking to flank him. They are going to be able to get rid of the Jinx. He's trying to make it onto the land. Does get that True Shot Barrage. Not enough damage as Baker wants to follow. Gets the Q. Max range as Joker immediately cleanses the ultimate. But the damage is done. Double kill for the mid laner of SKT. And they're already killing the Baron. And Summer just teleports in to see the bad news on Flink because of a cleanup kill. On to Faker, they can't play three lanes as cleanly, but they got four Baron buffs in a dream. Yep, Faker's happy just to say, this all right. Four was armed as in the mid lane. All right, see you later, Jinx. That's the Void Rush. That's why the Rek'Sai is so incredibly strong. He's even able to get out with the GA available. The double kill on the bottom side of the map. SKT, they don't want just a Baron. They want the entire base of Sandbox as well. They're ready to go home. They're tripling the kills. They're trying to end it around 30. SKT take down that mid lane inhibitor. Can they get any more? Right now, the minion wave suggests no. Yeah, well, I mean, Khan has prepared the yeah, bottom side. He's going to move this one in. SKT move on over as well. Still 20 seconds on go. Yeah, they might as well keep going. Exactly right. That is definitely another dead inhibitor. Inner turret still available on the top side of the map. So SKT, they take exactly what they want. Maybe even Nexus turrets now as well as Teddy. is just trying to get some pot shots of these. Oh my god, Dove. He takes way too much damage. World Ender has to be used. The claw may be a little bit premature from Faker, as they're not going to be diving these turrets, they're just going to be murdering them. They still got the Baron buff another minute, so they keep going. Yeah, Teddy can't miss the skill shot right here, as Joker's just going to get wiped out. Summit in trouble, Faker self sort to just create all of the control of this area. Teddy didn't want to be devoured right there, he just wanted to kill the members of Sandbox. Dove goes down, not enough stasis for you, my friend, I'm sorry. As he's looking to try and get rid of Summit, but Ghost is available, some low health bars on SKT's side, oh. but Teddy's just too big. Double kill comes no in. No one's dying! I know, right? Khan's able to get out. That's the triple kill. Could it be the Quadra? I don't think so, because the Nexus is going to die too fast. 
Teddy is gigantic and locks it down for SKT. What an insane end. We knew SKT would win when they got that last Baron, but the fact that they kept going yeah. and goes to full health, couldn't stop the game ending around 30 minutes is insane. They're going in and out with low health bars, with cooldowns, like Repose being communicated to a millisecond. SK Telecom T1 had a goal this week. They saw Griffin come back ferociously yesterday and they say, can we do it better? You look over this series and it might not be quite as one note as the domination, but given the opponent, you look at SKT and say, hats off. You guys are second and you're right up there with Griffin. Yep, and I'm also really excited to see the VOD reviews from this particular series as well, because you can just focus on one.